okay? You bought yourself your King Kong, either the 115 or the 125 or the ET Max, and begin to have a faulty VTX, and this is a known problem. You can research it on the internet, I did, and they know about it, so they got faulty VTXs. Now, what happens when you get a faulty VTX is you'll lose your eyes right away, either hit your shell switch and land it so you don't lose it, or you'll lose it. Something bad's going to happen. Me, I wrecked it. And then the plastic hood broke. And once that plastic hood breaks, you're in a world of hurt. Pulls on all the harnesses, and they've got diagnostics up the butt, trying to figure out what's wrong. So what you do is you take that piece of crap, King Kong word, strip it all down. Strip it down, you take out the stack, and you keep the motors, and your camera, and the receiver. And if, if the VTX works, then keep the VTX. And then, then, they got, then you got your, got your guts. Now you buy another frame for 20 bucks, and I buy some new motors, as you can see, the red ones. Oh, motors, too. I bought some new motors, but you notice one's blue. That's because one of the motors was defective right out of the box, brand new. So I had to use one of my old motors, which is the same, you know, 2205, same KV and all that, 2500. So it's, it's the same size as the red one, so it doesn't really matter. The computer doesn't really notice the difference. So it works. Now, this Amazon, so they're sending me new ones to be here tomorrow, so. That's, I love Amazon as far as that goes. And these are cheap motors. So like the red ones are like 10 to 50 as much as the blue ones. So they're, they're good motors. Like I said, you really, when you buy a set of motors, you just buy another set. You're gonna, they're going to break or they're going to go out or they're going to be bad right from the start. And then you can't fly that day and you're going to be pissed off even more. <laughs> so this is what you do with any of your... King Kong large series, the 115, the 125, or the ET Max. Now, if they're not the three cell type, you're gonna have to make some adjustments with the motors. If they're two cell type, you can use different motors. You can even use your Bugs motors, but you're gonna have to you're gonna have to lower your motors down because they're gonna be able to handle it. Which is fine too, because you know, it's like you got your, all your got all your two S batteries, you're all set up, you wrecked it once, and you can't fly it. You got this box of parts. You know, that's what you do with it. Now look at this. This is way better than the King Kong. If I would have built this and bought all the parts brand new, the stack's only 40 bucks. You know, the, the engines are, motors are motors. They're 10 bucks a piece. Doesn't matter. That's what those stock ones were. And I got a little bit better antenna and stuff. So I didn't have to, you know, use that stupid wrap and pigtail. Anyways, this is the bird. It's cheaper than the, than, the, than the guts that I took out of, and it's better. I should have just built this from the start with, with manufacturer parts. I'm going to skip the whole plastic frame crap and the guards. I don't really need those guards, you know. So those, are, those are big whoops. They're not really whoops anyways, in my opinion, but that's, you know, I can leave that up to the pros to argue that all they want to kill us. I like this one. Well, that's my suggestion. If you have a box with a broken King Kong in it that's been sitting there, buy yourself a frame, maybe some extra motors, just in case, you know, I just, I would just, just to same size, make sure they're the same size and you're good to go. Minimal soldering experience to do this, and it's pretty easy actually. And you got yourself a hell of a drone. Here, I'll show you some slide video. I'm a bit rusty because I haven't flown like in a, a while, too long.
I still rack though. <laughs> but like I said, you can pick this one up and fly it. King Kong would have had something broke. Well, thanks for watching. God bless.